the second time in two weeks, a Roseville couple fell victim to an attack by their son's dog. But this time they are critically injured from what police call one of the worst attacks they've ever seen. 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici is live right outside the home where this all went down. Gino. Apparently, the Roseville police chief says the attack was gruesome. In fact, he says it was so bad the male victim had to be airlifted to U of M Ann Arbor. And when officers arrived to the scene here at this home on the 30,000 block of normal, they say the female victim was outside covered in blood pleading for help. A sad situation all the way around. Neighbors are reacting tonight after learning a pit bull viciously attacked a man and a woman in their 50s inside this home in a 30,000 block of normal in Roseville. It's, you know, a bizarre kind of thing. Police Chief James Berlin says it's one of the worst animal attacks his officers have ever seen. Both uh, the victims in this matter suffered horrific injuries. The chief says when officers responded, the female victim was outside the home covered in blood, but the male victim was still inside lying unconscious with the pit bull standing over his body. It says officers had to distract the dog to enter before tasering it. Approximately 12 days ago, the same dog attack, attacked the same two people. Uh, the wounds at that time were very, very minor in comparison to what happened last night. Um, but it had currently been under house quarantine uh, from that attack. The pit bull's owner is the female victim's son, who was ticketed for possessing an unlicensed pet during the first attack and could now face charges. Our detectives will look at it in the matter. will be taken to the Macomb County uh, Prosecutor's Office for review, and they'll decide what, if any, charges will be filed in this matter. Back here live, we did speak to one neighbor off camera who says she is in contact with the victim's family at the hospital and says the couple is doing much better tonight. As for the pit bull, the chief says that dog had to be euthanized earlier this morning. We're live in Roseville, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. You just got to hope they are going to be okay from those injuries. Thank you so much, Gino.